the sun has come out, so let's go check out the beach on Treasure Island. In this video, we're gonna take you on a day trip to one of the best Florida beaches. We'll visit a few different beach areas and show you what Treasure Island Beach is like on a cloudy, cool morning and on a beautiful, sunny afternoon. Along the way, we'll take you to some popular bars and restaurants on Treasure Island. Make sure to watch until the end to find a hidden tiki bar and see a lovely Florida sunset. We're gonna start with how to access the beach on Treasure Island. The City of St. Pete parking lot is a great option. Here you'll find the snack bar, which offers some reasonably priced food and beverages, free wheelchair rentals, and an assortment of beach items. There are also restrooms, rent stations, and picnic tables. We're at the public parking lot on Treasure Island. And today looks very different compared to our last two beach videos. So in this area, it looks like you can't use the Park Mobile app and you actually have to pay and put a receipt on your dash. But $12 buys 12 hours, so that's pretty reasonable compared to some of the other beaches in the area. Even though it was looking pretty gloomy, we wanted to show you the beach. It's such a long walk to the beach here. <laughs> we were one of the few who bundled up and walked down to the water. On a sunny day, this beach would already be filling up. So it's actually abnormally cool here in Florida today. It's mid 60s, it's pretty windy, and the sun hasn't peaked out yet, which is why we're both wearing long sleeves and pants today. Yeah, it's a really great day for walking along the beach, but not so great for sunbathing yet. We're hoping that the sun peaks out a little bit later and warms things up. Treasure Island located between Madeira Beach and St. Pete Beach, but it's also kind of a blend of the two in that it has a lot of the small condos that you see on Madeira Beach, but it also has some of the larger resorts and beach bars that you see on St. Pete Beach. And something that sets Treasure Island apart is that the beach area is kind of separated from the condos and the businesses, which is really nice for a relaxing beach day, but it is a longer walk to the car and to the restrooms. Another nice thing about Treasure Island is they do let you bring alcohol out on the beach, just no glass bottles. So we've been out at the beach about an hour now and it's getting windier by the minute and the sun still hasn't peaked out yet. So Jamie, is it time to go get some coffee? Yes. <laughs> we'll see you over there. If you're already subscribed to our channel, you probably know we like to start the day with coffee. And if you're new, thanks for joining us. We hope you stick around and consider subscribing. We made the long walk all the way across the street to Coffee Grounds Coffee Shop. And according to TripAdvisor, this is the number one coffee shop on Treasure Island. It may also be the only coffee shop in Treasure Island. Let's hope it's good. Coffee Grounds is located in a cute building off of Gulf Boulevard. At one point during our visit, the line extended into the parking lot. Coffee Grounds offers coffee, cocktails, and breakfast. We weren't ready for alcohol quite yet and ordered a Bees Bees Latte with lavender honey and the Sand Dollar Latte with salted caramel, white chocolate, and mocha. Coffee Ground serves Kawa Coffee, which is roasted locally in St. Petersburg. We got two egglets. The one on the right is feta, mushroom, and spinach. The one on the left is gouda and mushroom. And for breakfast dessert, we got a key lime pie muffin. coffee shop and notice that Super Scoops is right next door. This is rated really well on TripAdvisor. 
but it's not open yet. I think we're gonna come back later and give it a try. I love this mural. If you can't tell what's going on here, they are riding a banana split in a boat. And they've got some cute tiki huts out front. After grabbing breakfast, you might want to get in a little bit of exercise to work up an appetite for lunch by taking a walk along the beach. And the cool thing about this beach is that you can walk along the beach itself or you can walk along this path which is closer to the road. Right now we're going to stick to the path because it's still a little cool on the beach. Hopefully when we're coming back later it will have warmed up and we can walk back along the beach. This path is known as the Treasure Island Beach Trail. The whole trail is just under two miles. Along the trail, you'll pass several resorts and get to take in the great views of the Treasure Island Beach. Eventually, the trail will take you to a beach bar called Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, I think so. This is a great spot. We didn't get too far on our beach walk before something drew us in. And that something was this Bloody Mary. How is it? Spicy and really good. And not only is it a delicious drink, but also a second breakfast. We enjoyed our drinks and the view a bit more before taking the trail to another beach access area. The Treasure Island Gulffront Park is located across the street from the Publix grocery store. It's about 11 o'clock right now, and the parking lot is not yet completely full. As you can see, there's a few open spaces still. Probably not guaranteed you'd get a spot if you come out here at 11 on a normal weekend day, because this morning has been abnormally cool and windy which has probably kept the crowds down up until now. This parking lot also offers restrooms and a rent station. So at this lot you can use the park mobile app which is nice to know. But here it is a little more expensive it's $2.75 per hour. Another thing to note about this parking area is that it offers a beach access mat all the way down the beach which we will show you after this friendly reminder to leave nothing but your footsteps on the beach. Not only do they have the beach mat here, along the way you'll see there's a giant slide over there, similar to the one that we saw on St. Pete Beach. Right now there's a bounce house, an inflatable sunken ship, and there are these bubbles that you can play in. As you can probably see, this beach is really wide in this area, so if you're concerned about social distancing, this might be a good beach for you. Treasure Island recently made TripAdvisor's list of the top 25 beaches in the U.S. In 2021, it was ranked at number 16. Another beautiful day on the beach. Seven other Florida beaches made that list. So far, we've also made travel guides for Madeira Beach and St. Pete Beach. If you're interested in checking out those areas, we will leave the links to those videos in the description below. So at this point in the day, we got up early to go to the beach, went and grabbed some coffee and breakfast, went back to the beach, had some drinks at a beach bar, and then went and spent some more time on the beach. At this point in the day, some people might be ready for a nap. But hey, you're on vacation, so let's go get some beers. Sea Dog Brewing is only around a mile drive from the Gulffront parking lot. Sea Dog Brewing originated in Maine, but has expanded by opening brew pubs in New Hampshire and Florida. So we finally made it to Sea Dog Brew Pub and I'm really excited because they make my favorite summer beer which is Sea Dog Sunfish. But I'm really excited to go check out some of their other beers so we'll see you inside. If you're traveling by boat on Treasure Island, 
you're in luck because Sea Dogs does have a dock. Sea Dog is located in a 10,000 square foot open air building. It offers a ton of merchandise, a game room, and plenty of beer to choose from. We try to fly to four different beers, including an American IPA, a caramel coffee porter, a blood orange Belgium wheat, and a blueberry IPA. Our favorite from the flight was the blueberry IPA. If you're interested in checking out more breweries in the nearby beach towns and in St. Petersburg, we'll leave links to those videos in the description below. After having some beer, we decided it was a good idea to order some food. We shared the delicious seafood pesto linguine. The dish included shrimp and gulf grouper in a parmesan pesto cream sauce. Before heading out, we enjoyed the view of the bay. Look at that, the dock is really busy. Got a lot of boats visiting Sea Dog today. If you aren't ready for a nap after having some beer and lunch, we would recommend getting some dessert. So I just left Sea Dog and the beer was delicious, as was the seafood. And somehow Jamie saved room for ice cream, so here we are back at Super Scoops. I had to make sure to save room because Super Scoops is rated the number one restaurant on Treasure Island according to TripAdvisor. And I don't even know if they sell anything other than ice cream, but we're going to find out. When we walked in, they were making fresh waffle cones. They smelled so good we had to get one. Super Scoops sells Big Olaf ice cream, which is locally made in Sarasota. Oh, that is a huge scoop. <laughs> <laughs> we just got our turtle sundae at Super Scoops. It's two scoops of ice cream with hot fudge, caramel whipped cream, and a cherry. And this is way bigger than I expected. And homemade waffle cone. And a homemade waffle cone. And there's also pecans on this. I forgot oh, to wow. say that. So we talked to the staff inside and they make their own hot fudge and this is delicious hot fudge. What's the verdict? Mm. And there's always room for ice cream. So walking up here, I thought it was really strange that they had a Statue of Liberty in the corner. But then I just realized that she's holding an ice cream cone and now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> We had plans to hang out at Caddy's on the Beach for dinner and sunset, but it turns out that we weren't that hungry after all that beer, pasta, and ice cream. And the parking was a little more expensive than we had remembered. So we changed our plans. So we planned on grabbing dinner tonight, but after all that beer and ice cream, we just didn't have much of an appetite, so we decided to check out sunset instead. And when you're on Treasure Island and asking people where to watch sunset, a lot of people will probably tell you caddies, and for good reason. It's a great place to watch sunset, but it can get kind of busy, and the parking is a little more expensive. I think when we were there today, it was $5 an hour, which was the most expensive parking we had seen all day. Yeah, so we decided to check out what we hope to be a hidden gem instead, and that's the Tiki Bar at the Island Inn. We'll see you there. The Island Girl Tiki Bar is hidden behind sand dunes, but it is open to the public. It offers beer and liquor, including several delicious frozen drinks. This is the Honey Do Me Right, which is a melon colada. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. We can't forget to mention that Island Girl also offers beachside jello shots. Sunset jello shots. Thanks so much for joining us on our day exploring Treasure Island. We hope this video helps you to plan your visit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know what you enjoyed about Treasure Island in the comments.
If you're interested in more Florida content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching. got covered by water right there. That's what. Oh no! Yeah, dude. My poor phone. Good job for grabbing it so fast. Well, I didn't grab it fast enough. I guess well, we'll see. Well, it's water resistant. So we had plans to grab dinner tonight, but after all that beer and pizza, we're just not that hungry. We didn't have pizza. Oh.